going on pros this is mike with another dirty promotions video this is a 2021 chevy pickup it's relatively easy we already got her covered up we're going to go ahead and do some pieces in the back window just for efficiencies if you want to see that cleaning out um squeegeeing you know just typical process what applies to this type of vehicle applies to many many other very difficult vehicles always start with small chews that way you can get to bigger bigger and better and more difficult windows this is the uh, front door it's going to be in 20 percent it's going to be in five percent so let's go ahead and get started they were all computer cut okay I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and shrink this deal right here on the uh, glass. If I'm able to do it, that'll be badass. Okay. I need to shrink a little bit because um, I don't want these doors to give me any pockets on the bottom and such, right? This is, uh, I cut it sideways, so that's why this is sideways. My pattern on the, on the plotter, I went ahead and cut it sideways, so. Just a tad. Okay, that's for the front. Go ahead and do this for the back. Man, being as easy window, they're so square, it's kind of hard to find the top. And I hope I find it. I'm not going to look pretty dumb here, huh? Okay, so this guy goes there. Same deal for this guy. See if we can go ahead and uh, get a little bit of heat shrink going for him. Go ahead and prep these windows and get this show on the road. I left them soaking for a little bit to get ahead of the game. Okay. Oh, no battery, eh? Okay. Here we go. Okay. Hopefully that'll be that. A ver. When you have brand new trucks, of course, you don't need to scrub too, too hard. They're not awfully contaminated, so it's good. Increases our efficiency, you know, going a little bit faster and such. Two stage all of them, I did not remove the seal because those seals, uh, I need to remove um, some screws on the panel and I don't want to do that today. All right, so take this guy for a ride. Let's see what goes on.
watch your sides all the time make sure that you don't touch a whole lot of there because you know contamination so do kind of this and do kind of that and there you go lumar computer cut patterns ceramic five percent oh and some cats fighting outside huh they don't like sharing food I hope they don't ruin my video. All right, we're pretty much done there. You just gotta secure the sides, top area. There you go, there. Roll them up, there you go. One of these guys here in the bottom. I don't like flushing uh, because it involves a lot of water and I cannot guarantee that with a flush I'm gonna I'm gonna get all the um, can you hear the cats I'm gonna get on them right now I say, man you gotta be ruining my video all right Put that down there two stage and I got a short pattern. Open it up with this to assist there on the on the drop here in the bottom and just all the way across. There's some real large gadgets that do this. Fuck, I hate those man. Small tools that fit in my pouch are gonna be king for me. That's why I developed these tools so that they could you know how they say less is more? Yeah, I like that. Okay, we got all that done there. Okay. On the side here, get all that moisture out. Bottom here, slide it across, all the way down, slide it. See, that's the great thing about this type of triangular tool that it's an all-in-one by dirty tools that I can go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the corner like that, all the way down and then all the way across without having to do too much bullshit of, I don't know, like this or that, you know, that shit's done. And by the way, this is um, the new version of the all-in-one that you saw me use right now. Um, I have um, them ready to be, um, I have them ready to be uh, distributed. All I need now is to um, to take them out of the boxes and distribute them this week. This guy back here. Let's go ahead and work on the front. Okay, this guy is done and ready. I'll clean them up right now. Got some alcohol right here. Alcohol and water. People ask what is the best glass cleaner and this and that, and everybody has a ton of suggestions. Vinegar water, alcohol water, and whatever you can buy at the store that sprays like that too. That works also. Okay. My Starbucks coffee. Okay. If people are getting contamination on two stage, please uh, keep your eyes peeled on the prepping. No over prepping, no less prepping, just the right amount. I know that a lot of people clean windows like three, four times and they think it's better. It's fucking not. It's like taking six showers and no, you don't need to take six showers. Just one fucking five minute, 10 minute shower and you're done. That's the same with the glasses here not going to be any different when glass is clean it's clean and that's it like I said this you know just use common sense this is a brand new 2021 
If there's gonna be any shit in this week, it's gonna be probably a little bit oil here when they armor all and prep and shit touches here. Maybe armor all. I use a uh, Dawn soap for, for cleaning and all that kind of stuff. So do the same. Prep it, prep it, prep it. So we got this ready. You wanna do one swipe here, one swipe here. This does not have any contaminants, that's why it's peach fuzz and all that kind of stuff. So all good. Okay, so I think we're ready to take it to the next level, which is the application. And we do this. I know a lot of people prep with harder pressers. Harder pressers uh, do not contour to windows very well, so sometimes they might leave something. If you're able to press and make this guy flex like this and touch the window, it just takes a little bit more force to do that. This kind of guy is so flexible like this. So this to me is, you know, it's industry's glass cleaner. The guys that do window washing and skyride, they use this motherfucker like real long for a reason. It's extremely fast, efficient, and very, very good at doing its job with the least amount of energy. It doesn't make you expand energy while cleaning and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I know this, you can do it for all clean outside, inside and all that. And then there goes your $10 fucking presser and you're like, eh, this fucking squeegee don't work for shit. Like, well, <coughs> you've been slamming it with dirt. So it's going to get nicked up on the sides. It's like anything else. You got tools, take care of them. You never lend your fucking lawnmower to your neighbor, right? Because he's going to fuck it up. So, same here as tools. Use them properly and they'll last forever. This right here, 20% material is um, Solar Guard, the uh, Zenith IR. Pretty much has become my, my best friend for for my go-to application because it doesn't curl like the other films I always say that they curl and shit like that I don't like the curlies and all that this is very gray it's factory matching it has 91% IR block so that's something I really really wanted all the time I wanted IR block in the 90s no curly no fucking ugly ass colors uh, very very shrink friendly and something that matches either glass or matches some charcoal color from factory. And this one has glass color in the front, which is clear. And on the back, it has factory colored uh, charcoal glass. So there it is. And there it is right there on the edge. Mm -hmm. I couldn't ask for a better product, really. And um, I did let him know that. I thought the world of their product. So now that's what I'm buying right now. For people that are struggling to get some dealers. Like, oh man, they don't want to sell to me because of territory and this and that and whatever. Well, this is what Dirty is buying because I love it. I totally love it. I love the fact, like I said, 90s. There you go. 90s they are. Almost unheard of. Um, stuff that you're gonna find 90s IR is gonna be horrible looking blue or browns or whatever and you know I don't like that there you go. very nice factory right there in the micro okay to the bottom to the bottom there you go I'm wetting it for lubrication, cleaned it with a squeegee. This is always a tricky thing right here. So, see that's the thing about the two stage, the kinking bullshit. And uh, I'm just gonna have to heat it up. There are no two ways about it. So while I'm managing it, even if it kinks, Manage it to where you really don't touch any of the side, you know, fold it in and all that kind of stuff. Okay. 
there it is man all the way to the edge all the way inside nice 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 the shrinking on this one i did on the side because of my computer i cut it sideways comes from a 36 inch roll and these are like 20 inches up and down so you got to manipulate the uh, computer cut pattern there do it sideways and if I do it sideways and I want to get rid of any little fucking fingers of my pup here, which I've seen them, I see them all the time and shit, I hate them. Okay, all the way down, like you see there, all the way across, boom, nothing there. The side, all the way down like that, all the way across, and boom, you're done. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up. Check it out on the outside. Let's see what's going on with that. Solar Guard, uh, they have a ceramic around the 80s, 78, 77 IR block. That is extremely charcoal looking like factory. That's the uh, Vortex. And then this one, the uh, Solar Guard is Zenith IR. It's extremely gray. You can see it right off the bat. I mean, 91% IR block is. I think that's gonna be the magical number because I've used Winkos before and that one's like 96, 97 and oh man, I love this one. But then I put it on and it's not really what Dirty likes or whatever. My customers, man, they, they bring them back. Hey man, it's real fucking blue and the low angle haze and blah, blah, blah. And, fuck dude, you can't win. So that's, that's the reason I look for shit that if I know they ain't gonna give me any static with a nice neutral gray color like this one. I'm gonna be winning. My customers are gonna be winning. That little crease that was on the side a little while ago. Okay, that's what I'm taking care of right now actually. And that's why the two staging, I'm not too crazy about it. But like I said, today I'm by myself. I'm not going to be removing anything. You know, normally I like to have a person assisting me with removing shit in front of me, whatever. But today was no se puede. No problem. But hey, let's go ahead and look at the sides here. Small little crinkle. Let me get rid of that water. Just got a little bit of water there. Okay. All right. That crinkles right there. I have to get rid of it in a little bit. Uh, anything else is extremely clean. Anywhere on the bottom that I did the uh, cleaning here, really, really clean. The small little creases, they were there, they're gone. This one I'll go ahead and chill it out a little bit later. Ready to go. This guy's ready to go. He's nice and clean. So let's go ahead and jump on to the back and mess around with that back window real quick. Get a little bit of uh, efficiencies. Here we are. This one does no tiene mucho misterio. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. It's pretty easy. Easy peasy. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. Okay. Uh, the guys that are like, um, it's peeling off the dots and doing this and buy some good film that doesn't curl that has enough adhesive do your due diligence as far as prepping don't go too fast man this is not a fucking race this is uh, your career on the line and i know that you think you might want to go faster but with all due respect you got to slow down man and uh, just do it a little bit right for for your long term for your customers you know okay they're the ones that are going to be giving you the five star reviews and all that and if you're gonna make them come back to check out on some film that is curling here or curling there there's no bueno man that's where you get your four star reviews or three stars and shit starts um you know falling down little by little and then you uh they catch you on a bad day and then you answer them on on your facebook or, or wherever in a pretty negative way well it's your problem you roll them down or some stupid shit like that and Everybody's gonna see what's going on. 
and your views keep on going down. Vamos a ver. One, two, where's the other piece? Let me see. Man, man, man. Here it is. Five percent ceramic. Fingernail. You there? This little notch belongs over there, so. Or does he? Oh, there you go. Right there in the bottom. Right there. Make sure your lines are kind of like semi-even. I know it's a computer cut pattern, but you can still fuck it up to where you get to and your customer sees that. Man, this guy um, doesn't pay a whole lot of attention to aligning the patterns and shit. Huh? So be sure and pay attention to align patterns and such. The smallest little fucking things, they go the longest ways all the time. And there it is guys, um, I know it took a while to fuck with all this uh, windows, they're very very easy uh, for anybody to do them, but there's a lot of guys that are starting out that don't have a fucking clue about what a black squeegee is, different to the yellow squeegee, etc, etc. Guys, look at the tutorial, look at it 20, 30 times, and you will get it if you want to be in window film installations uh, for a career. This. Uh, this is not a hobby. I know some of you have it for a hobby or a truck driver or a mechanic or something and this is weekend But this motherfucker this career right here. It's where it's at man. I I cannot tell you how much Money this has brought me and brings me on a daily. It's just incredible But got to be serious about it. Just like anything else. You know, want to be you want to sell hats sell boots Whatever you want to do Be the best you can at it and the fucking money will follow you you have asked anything that's why i made my post yesterday about being um either you're gonna do it uh mediocre then that will follow you you know you won't be able to expect bigger wages or bigger uh price tags on your film installations because you todo lo haces a, a medio chile todo lo haces, you do everything fucking half ass and that's not where it's at Trust me, I haven't been there and done that. I've never been half-assed. Let me tell you, when I started my career, I started with cheap fucking film because I didn't know any better. But as far as the installation, I was always a little picky son of a bitch, always. That's why all the customers with purple tint would follow me until I got better film, better film, better film. And now, my yellow. I have the very best film and they kept on following me. Very good work, very fast work, clean work. Film back in the day <laughs> lasted about a year. I'm talking about fucking three decades ago, so shit's different now. I wasn't gonna do this, but fuck. I'm already here. Take care of it, brother. Guys, enjoyed it. Have a great day. This is Monday for me. I work by myself on Monday. I was working on my fence. Fucker came over and he's gonna do the windshield and everything, ceramic, so 
Gotta get a tinning. Guys, have an awesome day. GoPro, stop recording.